It's a flyweight matchup between Brandon Moreno and Demetrius Johnson. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He's able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point. But he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the under. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Our tale of the tape for this flyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. The main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, and two draws. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno! All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at the commitment to kick in this fight. 
Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to ring. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? with that jab attempt there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Right hand punches the clinch. If your opponent has to end the clinch, pull it down on your head, Liz. Oh, now going for the takedown. He went right to the single leg, used the power of his legs to lift him and slam him to the ground. Lands a big elbow there. Look is there again. Big leg kick land. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Round two is next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen, you can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. You ready? You ready? Let's go for it. Leg kick. Huge block there. He lands a big knee to the body. And they separate. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making air. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. This might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you. Got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish.
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. And that's the end of round number two. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push the pace and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by DJ. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, side control now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Good solid strike on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Johnson's back in full mount. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this face to land in beautiful ground and combination. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And they separate. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent there. Nice job by the opponent defending the take now, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. He's doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. 
Nice jab, follows her up with a nice right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Moreno gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Big body kick land. Try to establish that jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna oh. hurt this opponent. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. There's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno! Watch, there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.